Assalamu alaikum, welcome and karibuni to uh, Roma Uzanzibar's kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you how I make this flaky and very soft green onion chapatis. So over here I'm using four cups of all-purpose flour and I added about two teaspoons of salt. Just going to mix it well to combine. And in the bowl I have got a mixture of ghee and oil that is hot but not very hot. You can use ghee alone or you can use oil alone and i've used four tablespoons so for each cup is one tablespoon all right so you're just gonna mix that well to combine until your flour is nice and uh, you get that velvety texture kind of a thing all right just like that and then i'm going to use two eggs and please make sure that your eggs are in room temperature we're just going to beat it and then we're going to start mixing. Okay, and for the liquid, I'm using water, which is about one cup. Okay, I just used uh, half a cup first and then I'm going to add the rest. All right, so I'm just going to knead the dough and I've got green onions that's just about uh, a little bit extra than three uh, half a cup maybe three fourths of a cup you can go up to one cup that's fine so just gonna knead the dough for about uh, seven to ten minutes until it's nice and firm and it's also very soft as you can see just like that okay so then just gonna apply some ghee or oil Mine is a mixture, as I mentioned, just a little bit on the bottom and on the top. And then we're just going to cover it and let the dough relax for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, after 20 minutes, I'm ready to work with the dough. So it's more softer at this point. And I'm going to divide this into eight portions because I just wanted my chapatis to be medium size but you can make it six that can also work if you want them bigger right so we're just gonna form should have cut that okay so I'm just gonna form a nice ball like that then I'm gonna work with the rest so once that's done I'm going to roll the chapatis or parathas. Actually, you can also call these parathas. And we're just going to roll these. These are nice for dinner or lunch, also for snacks in between the, me between the meals. All right. So now I'm just going to apply the ghee okay when I say ghee I mean the mixture of ghee and oil and then I'm just gonna stretch this just like that just gonna dust uh, sprinkle some flour this is going to help the layers to stay intact Okay, then a little bit of ghee, a little bit of flour, and then we're going to fold it in like that. We're just going to roll it into a coil. And that's it. So I'm going to do the rest, and then I'll get back to you. So here they are. Just going to cover them and let them sit for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I like to prepare the condiment and I'm using plain yogurt that's full fat and I just grated one clove of garlic and to that I added a little bit of salt and I used coriander powder, you can use cumin as well and uh, red chili powder, that's Kashmiri red chili powder, you can use black pepper that would work and chopped mint or cilantro. I had some green onions left and squeeze 
some lemon or lime. You can use regular onions, yellow, white, or red. Just gonna mix it well. This condiment goes really, really well when you have these chapatis uh, as a snack or as a starter for your meal, but also as a part of a main meal that also works. Okay, so now we are ready to start rolling the chapatis so we can cook them. Please make sure you've got your pan on the heat and I like to keep it on medium, not too high and not too low. All right, so while I'm rolling the chapatis or paratas, I want to remind you that I've got all the ingredients mentioned in the description box below and they will be with a quantity in grams as well. All right, so I'm almost done and I'm just gonna roll it on my rolling pin so that I can transfer it to the pan easily. I'm just gonna cook it for about uh, three to four minutes or until you start seeing it, the bubbles like that, those big, uh, it puffs up and then flip it on the other side. Then you can add your grease now at the bottom like that like that but I like to flip it and then brush the grease on the top like that I don't like to use a spoon because I feel I tend to take a lot and I don't like my chapatis to be too greasy and then now I'm gonna flip it and I just use the spoon you can use a spatula you can use a kitchen towel whatever is easy for you just gonna do this process the full round and I don't like to use a lot of grease in my chapatis. I know um, I like them crispy like that. But you can always add more. Then I'm just going to flip it over and uh, cook it for about a minute or so. Maybe about two minutes. And that's it. It's very simple. And while they're still hot, I like to smash them like that so they're nice and uh, very soft so once that's done we are ready to serve as you can see and we're going to serve this nice and flaky and soft you can serve it with a yogurt alone or you can have it with a tandoori chicken like me and thank you so much for watching i wish you a wonderful day thank you